So we're here today uh, talking with uh, Neil, one of our, our, our fellow co-workers at our sister company, URE, uh, also one of the original designers of uh, the Revolt unit itself. But uh, Neil has some experience in his own, his own home in Georgia of trying to install a traditional solar battery system, right? a, a battery system that you would put you know, inside your garage or maybe on the side of your house, depending on what, what's, what part of the country you're in. And so we wanted, we wanted to uh, give uh, Neil an opportunity to explain to us his experience with that uh, versus what it would be like if we were to you know, have a revolt system like this, a, a, a pre-wired um, generation two unit uh, that allows you to just kind of drop in place this whole solution that you've tried uh, to install in your, your own home. So. Yeah, no, it was definitely uh, a trial and error process when, when working on the Revolt system. And we looked at many different uh, inverter providers, battery providers. Uh, we purchased their equipment, we installed their equipment, we tested their equipment. Um, they all have their, their pros and cons. Um, but when it comes to an installation that's going to be a simple install, this unit here from Revolt is going to be hands down uh, something that you're, you're going to recognize right away if you've ever installed an off-grid system. Uh, I personally have experience at my home. I installed uh, two of uh, two Premier uh, inverters. Uh, they're, they are not transformerless. They are extremely heavy. It takes two people just to lift the inverter. Um, the batteries in my garage are uh, full-size batteries, approximately five kilowatt hours each. These batteries here are five kilowatt hours each. The batteries in my garage are probably the size of four of these and the weight, you know, is almost 200 pounds to move them. Um, by the time I put those inverters on the wall, the batteries on the floor and started looking at all the code compliance that I would need to meet, uh, it became something that wasn't cost effective or feasible anymore. Uh, when you have batteries in your garage, you've got to watch out for vehicles potentially damage them any kind of um any kind of damage to that battery could be could cause you serious cause, cause serious thermal events um and there's also issues with required lighting there's the wiring there's rapid shutdown there's disconnect requirements to make it a safe system when you put a when you put equipment like this in your home it's a whole new new animal with the revolt system being placed outside having a, a form factor that's approximately two by two, two by three. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you're gaining, you're gaining so much in uh, time that you're, not, that you're not spending on, on trying to research and, and make sure you're gonna pass an inspection, make sure you're not gonna run afoul of your, uh, your homeowner's insurance or anything like that. So, so I, we think this is a great solution. You know, we think it, it, it looks good outside. You know, it looks good. You know, it's, it's finished finish look here. Um, a lot of times this is going to be out by your, your PV array, um, and it's just going to give you that kind of redundant power, secure power that, that allows you to, to live your life and not, not worry about becoming a off-grid battery specialist. Yeah, and part of part of that too, too Neil, is really selecting, you know, like vendors and manufacturers and sizing the system appropriately to really like actually truly provide whole home power, right? You know, typically a battery storage project might only be just a, a, a smaller inverter with uh, some backup capabilities in case your, your power goes out. You know, this, this system here is really designed to be the primary power source of your home. Right? So, so there's, a, there's a little bit different approach there for the, the, that we take as saying solar first, you know, grid slash generator second, right? Or, you know, in, in saving the power that you use during the day in your battery storage so you can sell it or so you can use it at night. <clears throat> typically what we're seeing, you know, in typical backfeed agreements, typical backfeed agreements, agreements today is that you're, you know, you're selling power back to the, the company or the utility company at much less than what you're purchasing it. Mm -hmm. So there's really a delta there that I think people need to be aware of, of if I'm buying at 12 cents and I'm selling back at four cents, well, every kilowatt hour I save in these batteries is worth eight kilo, eight, eight cents, right? And so, and so over time you really pay for this, right? And, mm -hmm. and so uh, we just, want that want people to be aware of that and be aware that there's there's it's easy for them to get a system like this have it outside um be completely redundant from from you know resilient and redundant from your your utility provider um and, and do it in a cost effective way uh, and, and so we hope that the whole system can do that for folks